You know what else is like almost shocking to me, but not quite, but almost, is I'm looking at these people getting ready for the quote-unquote inauguration of Joe Biden. And Washington, D.C. looked like a third world country. They have walls, putting up, putting up walls and fences and barbed wire on, the fe- on top of the fence and mil- uh, National Guard and I guess some military men and women too are uh, everywhere. And they, I heard this morning they blocked off the tur- tunnels that go into Washington, D.C. Why are we letting that happen in our country? Why are we letting that happen? It's crazy to see that. And what are they so afraid of? Because the politicians were not afraid when we are under terrorist attack with Black Lives Matter and Antifa all year. Burning and destroying and stealing and killing. And it went on and on and on and on. And they're like, oh, peaceful warrior, peaceful protest. But now they pretend to be in fear. What do they do? They protect themselves. Are they better than we are? Are they better than we are? Are they better than we are? And we Americans, well, not we, but most Americans start to feel helpless. And the reason you feel it helpless, you have no love. Well-meaning, but you have no love, so you're feeling fear, and you're going to overreact, and then you won't see what to do. I can feel something inside myself. So according to the AP, it's so crazy to see the military occupying D.C. I mean, everywhere, like, like Osama bin Laden is in there somewhere. AP, this is from the AP, National Guard, National Guard troops from all 50 states are coming to Washington to secure the Capitol ahead of Biden's inauguration. inauguration. The number of troops has, has grown to 26,000. Tucker, uh, I watched Tucker yesterday on uh, Fox News, and he had an amazing monologue, his opening monologue about what's happening in America. It was deep. It was deep. It was mind blowing. So if you didn't see it yesterday, watch at least the opening part of the show. U.S. defense officials say they are worried about an inside attack from service members. The FBI is vetting all of the troops in what AP calls a massive undertaking. This is about getting rid of white people. That's what they are lying about. They make up lies and then you respond and then they can get away with it. You react to it. But this is about getting rid of white people, the Trump voters. This is about getting rid of Trump supporters, and most, not all, but most of Trump supporters are white, and especially white men. The attack on white Americans, Americans is out of this world. It's crazy that in your father's state, human beings can treat one another in this way for no reason that they hate and they don't have love. And they'll make up excuses. It's slavery. It's white supremacy. It's Jim Crow. It's police brutality. And they just make up stuff and it's not even real. It's not even real. But they'll make it up and then you'll believe it because you can't see for yourself and let them do it. This is not about any of those things. It's not about this fake idea of white supremacists, police brutality. 
it's all made up. And when I talk to my family members and others, they repeat it because they believed it to a lie. They have believed it to a lie. Salvation is not about overcoming your father's state, meaning the stuff you got into. It's about renewing of the heart. You've been brainwashed to believe that you got to stop smoking cigarettes first. That's not true. Your heart needs to be renewed from hate to love so you can see and the rest and take care of itself. Stop judging yourself for that, but watch your heart. Get to know yourself. Here's uh here's uh from uh is that Gabbard Grayburn Representative Steve Cohn is a poor pitiful poet excuse of a man. This man is down in Tennessee. Most of his voters are black and he's been catering to them for years just to stay in office. He has no love for the blacks or anyone else. But this guy from uh, Steve Cohn, a Democrat from Tennessee, expressed his concerns of an insider attack on Monday. Watch this. Actually, current and former members of the U.S. military and law enforcement who took part in the riot. And we now have the remarkable step in this country of the U.S. military running background checks on its own people like it might do in a foreign country with partner forces to see if there are any sympathizers. Based on what you've seen, what is your level of concern of an insider threat? Um, you know, I was thinking the Guard is 90 some odd percent, I believe, male. Uh, only about 20 percent of white males voted for Biden. you got to figure that in the Guard, which is predominantly more conservative, and I see that on my social media and we know it, they're probably not more than 25 percent of the people that are there protecting us who voted for Biden. The other 75% are in the class that would be uh, the, the large class of folks who might want to uh, uh, do something. Isn't that amazing? They allow him to say that and nobody complained about it. Not no one. This man should be ashamed of himself. But he, well, we all have the, should have the right to speak, but you have to disagree with this guy. He's wrong. But he can say it and get away with it. And then after he, I, I heard this morning, I don't know, but I've been told that it wasn't 25% of the males or military people who voted for the Great White Hope. It was 30% of the people voted for him in the military, they say. Now, I don't know why, and if that's true. But he's lying. He's lying. We got to get America back. I want my country back. And the only way it's going to come back, Christian men got to wake up and get involved and uh, vote these people out. We have to build and start our own thing so we don't have to rely on the children of the lie because the children of the lie have no love. They're not going to help you promote good. What the... That doesn't make sense. The AP is reporting that officials says each state is on alert against attack in their own state capital as well. And they listed um, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Kentucky. Can you that off for me? Uh, I thought they had a, a thing. Oh, that's the B-roll. Huh? Okay, thank you. Uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Connecticut, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Georgia on my mind, and California. They mentioned no states, but there are more. If anyone needed, okay, thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. Military everywhere, right? Uh, if anyone needed protection during the inauguration, it was Donald Trump. Remember all the looting and burning and protests that went on while they were swearing him in? 
But you didn't see a takeover by the military. And, you know, and then it's so weird that they're using what happened at the Capitol to say, oh, I'm so scared. I'm just so scared. And they're going after white males. They're going after white males and they're using that as an excuse to do it and look like they're getting away with it. I know a lot of or several white males who have told me that they're afraid now. They don't know who is their enemy, who is their friend. They trust no one. I can understand it. Your government is against you. Your media is against you. Your own uh, family members who have been brainwashed are against you. That's weird. It's evil. It really is evil. My producer was telling me that, Nick, my producer said, the military general generals are liberal. The military generals are liberals. That's why they are able to destroy the military. And, and can you imagine that they have put all these military people in our country right now and that you could possibly be shot and killed by your own military on, on, the fate, on some lie that made up about you. The chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, a guy by the name of Mark Miller, Milley. And remember this guy, he was, uh, remember when the Great White Hope, yeah, there he is. Uh, the Great White Hope went to that church and he held he held the Bible up and the people were like his enemy was like, Oh, that's not the way you hold a Bible. What the <laughs> You're not supposed to hold a Bible that way. And uh this guy oh I should not have taken that picture with Donald Trump, something like that. And then he whined about racism and America original sin. After complaining about the president's photo in front of the church holding the Bible, this guy is a ch joint chief of staff. It means that he's over the military. And he's a liberal. May God have mercy upon America. God bless America. Because Satan has used his children to destroy it. He's using his children, Satan is, to destroy or at least make an amazing attempt to destroy the greatest country in the world. It's amazing to see. I never imagined seeing this in America. It just mind blowing, amazing, and don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America, and it's going to take all of us to do it.